All right. Nice house. LAPD, ma'am. Is Mrs. Evestrom in? But she is. Would you follow me, sir? Of course. We like you. I am Mrs. Evestrom. How may I help you? You appear to have recovered some stolen goods that belong to you, ma'am. Yes, of course. That terrible burglary. Would you like something to drink? No, thank you, ma'am. We have some questions, if you don't mind. Boy's mad. Why would I mind, young man? if you are returning 43 pieces of my property. Okay, before we get down to that, I'll have a scotch. Thanks, straight up. Maria, can you get the detective a drink, please? Well, we didn't find 43, we found four. Can you describe to us what was stolen? It would be easier to describe what wasn't stolen, detective. <laughs> priceless tiara that has been in the family for 50 years. A Fabergé cigarette case that was worth $25,000. Said worth 10. Why are you lying about the value of your jewelry, Mrs. Eastrom? Who do you think you are? Making heinous accusations in my own home. Because we've seen the, the list, but we know that the cat the Fabergé cigarette case is only worth 10000 We recovered the cigarette case from a pawnbroker. No one knows the real value of an item better than those guys. I inflated its value for the insurance claim. There, are you satisfied? Oh, interest fraud. My daughter's boyfriend was quite taken with the case. I think he was even more disappointed than I was when it was stolen. Wait, who is that? Wait, that's uh... What can you tell us about the burglary? That terrible night. At least a year ago. But let's not go into that. Let's talk about what you've recovered. <sighs> Unfortunately, I want to hit every other button but good cop, but we're hitting good cop here. Were you in the house when the burglary took place? Good heavens, no. I was at a social function held by a Dr. Harold Stoneman and his Wait, what? wife. I returned home and all of my things were missing. That's about it for now, Mrs. Eastrom. The department will get in touch and let you know how you can recover your valuables. You have only mentioned a few of the items that have been stolen, Detective. What else has been recovered? You see, Phelps, that's why you get the drinks in early. Hello, Mother. Heather? Hello, Detectives. What is going on? We'd like to ask exactly the same question. You have met my daughter this morning at work. Oh. Mother and father divorced. I took my father's name. The detectives recovered some of the things that were stolen. That's that question. What did you find? A sapphire ring on the corpse of Julia Randall. What are you talking about? Your engagement ring, Miss Swanson. Would you be surprised to know that it was part of the proceeds of a burglary? That's an outrageous allegation. Yes, it is. I suggest we go straight to Henry Arnett's place and sort this mess out. All right, we have an achievement that I'm most likely going to screw up because I'm horrible at these kind of things. What's the achievement? Do not take any damage to the car. How hard is this going to be? We're right here. Oh, freak. Uh... Uh, here. Why? Whoo! Well, that was almost a good game. So we're gonna follow every single law. We're missing something here. Arnett is obviously arranging the burglaries. That's my fiance you're making scurrilous accusations about. And Randall was obviously his partner. But neither of them are the type to creep apartments. You're being ridiculous. Both of you. There's there's a very good explanation for all of this. I agree. What a sock in it, sister. You're being played for a patsy and you're not even smart enough to see it. Oh. I mean, he, he's, he's right. But we do have to keep this very carefully because if we do any damage to the car, we have to restart. 
We don't want to do that. <sighs> so I'm going to stay back and watch this stuff happen. We could turn the siren on. Freak, we should turn the siren on. I mean, that makes the most sense if we turn the siren on. Because people won't go in front of the siren. At least, hopefully. Alright, get out of my way. Get out of my way. We got this. Don't do anything stupid. AI cars or me. Most importantly, me. So far we're doing really well. No one's doing anything stupid. Don't worry about it, cop. Alright, we're gonna keep going straight. And we need to turn right here. No, not yet. Cool, you guys aren't doing anything stupid. I appreciate that. Get out of my way. You turn, you're fine. We're gonna turn here. Alright, so siren and careful driving. Hey, that's a Hollywood. Oh, that's right, that's a Hollywood blend back in the 40s. I didn't know that actually. Hmm. I'm assuming this game is right just because Rockstar does a lot of good stuff with accuracy. Or whoever, I don't think Rockstar developed it, it was some other guys who did it. Alright, get out of the way, red truck. Holy cow, I'm not going to say, I knew this was going to take a while, but this is insane. Like. I thought for a second we were going to get hit there. My anxiety is building, so I'm like, we're almost there. No, oh, we're not even in range of it yet, still on the map. Alright, everybody out of the way. Thank you. Thank you for not doing anything stupid, you all. I appreciate it. Alright, I have to go around this corner, apparently, because I went too far. Good. Uh, I went too far for a second. Would have had a bad time. Okay, this is very easy. I like this. And here we are. Did I do it? Or did they get me in the very beginning? Come on, sister. Let's find out who your fiance really is. Okay. I was getting really scared for a second. Alright. If he's even here. Welcome, sir. Uh I'm sorry, are you a resident? LAPD detectives. We're here to speak to Henry Arnett. Oh, uh, Mr. Arnett? Um, uh, apartment 30. You can take the lift. Thank you. Heather's still confused. Don't worry, I am too. Well, isn't this just nice and awkward? Yeah. Does she know where this apartment is? Stop! LAPD! Don't kill him, Cole. This guy's our case. Go on. Get Put your hands in the air. 
Okay, I thought I was gonna go the wrong way. Give it up, LAPD! Put the weapon down now. Wait, did he climb the thing? The freak? How did he do that? Don't make me chase you! Oh freak, this is my weakness. Dang it. Buy a hat. He's gonna punch us immediately. Looks like he you got you good, Phelps. Yeah, he really packs a wallop. But wait, how did we get back here? Under your own steam, miraculously. He came in through the window, said hello, and then keeled over. Huh? That was our net. He's coming around too. He's all hopped up. Good time to get some answers. You missing something, Henry? All right, Henry. Ah, the train to Mexico City. You told Heather you're hunting mooning without her? It's a nice watch though. Vacheron Constantine. That's an extremely expensive watch, Henry. A graduation present for my parents. Nice law. Alright, buddy. It's time. What the ring? We know all about the jewelry ring. You and Randall and the Blanc and Willie doing the legwork. I'm in the fashion business. You're absolutely not. You're lying, Henry. How can you prove that I'm involved, detective? Well, we've picked up an item that you got rid of. Because you pawned a Fabergé cigarette case today for $600, a case that is on a list of stolen items. That was 900. Items. It was Julia's idea. Get a list of society parties and find out where and when and then have the guests burgled. Julia was desperate for money. No matter how much we made, she always wanted more. Heather is appalled. That's the correct facial Why did Reed and LeBlanc kill Julia Randall? I wanted to stop, to, to get out of that life. I was going to marry Heather if she'd have me. You ain't getting nothing. Julia told the others that, that they were out, that she was going to create a, a new gang. But, but why the train ticket, You're Henry? You're lying, Arnett. I think you ordered them to kill her. It was made to look like suicide, and when the coroner saw through that, you knew it was time to run. I told you I was involved in the burglaries. I had nothing to do with Julia's death. Why would I need to run? Well, why are you running is the better keyword. Every answer here is accused, by the way, if you haven't figured that out yet. Have you told Miss Swanson that you're leaving for Mexico City tomorrow night? That it's a one-way ticket? Henry? Tell me it isn't true. I had no choice. I wanted to marry Heather. I told Julia I wanted out, and she laughed in my face. I had to pay Willie and Jimmy a fortune to do her, and now I'm completely broke. What you are, Buster, is under arrest. I'm more concerned about that pop filter not killing. Hey, what pop filter? Who is Henderson, and what is his involvement? Tell them what you know, Henry. I'll stand by you if you'll only tell the truth. You're dumb. There is no Henderson. No. Tell me about your first burglary, and don't lie. I can't remember. I don't keep a list of these things. Oh, lucky for you, we do. Your first burglary was a Dr. Harold Stoneman. You want to explain how he is involved, or shall I? Henderson is Stoneman. He was crazy about Julie. Wait, what? She could get him to do whatever she wished. He threw the parties, and we arranged the burglaries. Julia never let him touch her. She just 
kept them hanging on the promise. Drove the good doctor almost insane. The free. Henry Arnett, you are under arrest for burglary and for the murder of Julia Randall. Henderson is Stoneman, all right? I'm not the guy you want. Go talk to the good doctor. Oh, we will, knucklehead. Meanwhile, we're fitting you for convict stripes. Yeah. All right, so this is a three episode case. Holy cow. Cuz we we still have like three more locations to go. Can you drive to this one? We're going Where back we to Sturman's. We'll see how ridiculous them is gonna be. Actually, we only have two places to go. I guess the wedding's off. He only robbed her mother and killed her best friend. Cut the guy some slack. So how does the doctor fit in? That's what we're about to find out. Maybe we should ask him to give you a quick once over. That meathead gave you one hell of a pasting. I've had worse. You should have seen yourself staggering back in there like a drunken sailor. Next time you can take the runner, Roy. I didn't box in the Marines, though, did I? I should have never told you that. Uh, wow, continuation of stories. They actually did it. All right, we have two achievements coming up. Not this location, but the next one for one of them. The other one's actually finishing the case. All right, let's go get Stoneman. Wait, when we were here first... Wasn't the window open to his off? Oh crap! That was a small detail. Time for the doctor to give us something to make this all better. There's no way they're gonna pull that on us, are they? Hang on a moment, sister. Tell him it's Henry Arnett, and tell him it's urgent. I can't do that. Tell him, or I'll charge you with obstruction of justice. Doctor, I'm afraid Mr. Arnett is here to see you, and he says it's urgent. Send him in. I told you never to come. Tell us the truth, Doctor. I'm so glad you came. Wait, what? Prison will be better than insanity, and I'm already half insane with grief. Do you know that I loved her? I ruined my life for her, and yet I still love her. I feel that. Will you testify in court that Arnett and Randall did these robberies? They organized the robberies. Julie would get the names of the guests attending my wife's parties. It didn't matter how much money I showered upon her, it was never enough. She never really cared for me. Doctor, I'm afraid you're under arrest. Uh, the practice. You'll call Dr. Gerard. No, 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 no. Please don't cry. wife or my children nor my friends and I don't want a lawyer just lock me up and throw away the key what have I done ah! oh. well didn't see that coming oh well Well, he can't make it any worse, can he? There's no way. Operator, give me dispatch. Are we not calling an ambulance for him? Or a coroner or something? I need an ambulance and a coroner oh. immediately to the offices of Dr. Harold Stoneman, 1646 Ivor Street, Hollywood. En route, Detective. You have a message. Thank you. Detective Bukowski says the suspect is named... Wilson Willie the Wolf Reed, former wrestler. Last known address is an apartment building at the corner of Hollywood and Vine. Detective Bukowski says to meet them there. On our way. We have an address for the runner. 
Let's try and wrap this up then. Right? It's only been forever and a day. I'm surprised Roy doesn't have a one liner right now. Because that'd be something Roy would do right now. That old boy really fell for that broad. Dang it! She was incredibly beautiful. Would you throw it all away for a woman? Life has a way of making you pay for your pride. You're quite the romantic, Phelps. Stick with the percentages. Broken hearts are pretty strong. <laughs> I mean... You're talking from experience. He really did I certainly am. fall for the broad. Oh, I like women as much as the next guy. As long as they're in their place and doing what they're told. Ah, oh, fascism. Classic 40s, 50s, golden age stuff. We hear so much about the, the golden age of how we want things. You know, you fix that. You give people living wages. Alright. The last achievement is here. He's around here somewhere. A big guy. Neighbors say he always wears basketball shoes and a cream jacket. And get this. Kids around here say he plays the harmonica. Find the game well and have the commander set up a dragnet. We want the area closed off. We'll take this out of the street. A harmonica playing wrestler. That's a weird one. Think he knits as well? Just keep your eyes open and your mouth shut. We don't want him to bolt on us. Where are we going anyway? I mean, I didn't fully understand... Wait, Paul. You hear that? I hear harmonica. I think. Yeah. Wilson Reed, LAPD, give yourself up. All right. So, what we need to do is very, very stupid. For this last achievement. If you don't do this now, you have to spend an hour of your life to try again. And we don't want to waste an hour of our lives, do we? Dang it, dude. Gotta be around here somewhere. No place to go unless you grew wings. There he is. Wait the son of a bitch. You have to shoot the sun. And then kill him. Son of a bitch really picked this spot for it up here, didn't he? Julia Randall's folks are flying in from New York tomorrow to claim the body. I saw her on the slab. So perfect. Looked like she was made of porcelain. She really made an impression on me. Julia had that impact on a lot of men. Christ, it's cold. You guys did good work here today. Roy, I think you should buy your brother officers a drink. Do you now? That's very generous of you. Lieutenant. <laughs> Roy is so mad about that. 60 for 16, 60 for 16, no damage done, five stars, complete the naked city. Boom. Oh. 
Ha. Screw this case. I'm happy that I don't ever have to play this case again. Huh. Next time on LA Noir, let's talk about Manifest Destiny.